Hi, I'm Norm, and as always, I'll be your guide as we travel across Canada seeking out strange tales. In today's video, 10 Strange Tales from the province of Saskatchewan. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell so you know each time a video is posted to our channel. Saskatchewan is a prairie and boreal province in Western Canada, the middle of the three prairie provinces. Nearly 10% of Saskatchewan's 651,900 square kilometers or 251,700 square miles of land is fresh water, which is composed mostly of rivers, reservoirs, and the province's 100,000 lakes. English is the primary language of the province with 82.4% of the population of the province speaking English as their first language. Saskatchewan is bordered on the west by Alberta, on the north by the Northwest Territories, on the east by Manitoba, to the northeast by Nunavut, and on the south by the U.S. states of Montana and North Dakota. Let's start our journey with number one, Delta, Bestboro, Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. There are three spots in this hotel that are spiritually active. The first spot is on the ballroom floor of the hotel. There is a man that is there late at night wearing a gray suit and a fedora. He is very friendly and says hello to people as they walk by. Most people do not realize this man is a ghost until they tell employees about what happened. They say there is a large crack in the marble that has something to do with the man's death. He used to be a former employee that received a noise complaint and when the man went to tell the people to calm down, two drunken men picked him up and flung him over the railing, letting him fall nine stories to his death. That crack in the floor that was mentioned earlier happened when he landed. The second spot is on the third floor. Although there is not much information on this tale, it is by far the spookiest. There is a woman that looks rather small and tired. Her hair is a mess and her clothes are torn in many places. If you're quiet and you stay out of her way, she doesn't acknowledge you. But if you make too much noise or if you try to communicate with her, she will run up to you and scream at you and then just disappear. The third and final spot that there has been ghost sightings is in the stairwell. There is a group of children that play in there that people say were killed in the Bestboro, having the time of their lives. The guests can hear them laughing, but will never see them. They do not harm any guests or employees. They're simply there having fun. Number two, Dark Hall, University of Regina, Regina, Saskatchewan. The University of Regina is home to various scholars, professors, academics, not to mention a few ghosts. Dark Hall was once used as a military storage unit, and then it was converted into a schoolhouse. After an outbreak of typhoid, the building was quarantined and many students and teachers lost their lives. The ghosts of these children and their teachers still wander the campus grounds. Francis Nicholson Drake's ghost has been seen walking past the area where his funeral was held. Number three, Fort Battleford, Battleford, Saskatchewan. This area was originally the capital of the Northwest Territories before land speculators successfully transferred it to Regina in 1883. The officer's headquarters are said by tourists to be haunted by a surgeon. The town hall has a spirit who has been referred to as Charlie prowling the second floor which once was an opera house. There have been reports about ghostly smells of chocolate chip cookies baking in the council chamber as well as cigar smoke around desks and office areas. Ghostly war cries have been heard by tourists in the area around the fort. Other paranormal activities like light anomalies and general feelings of unease take place in this area. Number four, Hotel Saskatchewan, Regina, Saskatchewan. The seventh and eighth floors of the hotel seem to be the most active. Many hotel staff refuse to work on these floors. There have been numerous guests complaining of strange noises in their rooms on all floors though. Apparitions seem to disappear before people's eyes. A cupboard once opened and a vase flew across the room in the royal suite. Number five, Government House, Regina, Saskatchewan. Over the years, several staff and former students have observed strange occurrences here. Doors have been said to open and close repeatedly with no one near. The sound of crying babies and laughing children have been heard late at night with no one around. And other witnesses have claimed to see eerie faces next to theirs when they look into mirrors. One particular apparition of note is Howie, believed by tourists to be the former cook 
of Lieutenant Governor Archibald McNabb. Many witnesses believe that his ghost roams the house. His footsteps often heard by visitors shuffling through the halls. He even has a say in the interior decorating. Witnesses have inexplicably found objects shifted or moved from one room to another. Number six, Fort Sand, Fort Capel, Saskatchewan. The spirit of a nurse nicknamed Nurse Jane is seen by witnesses wandering the halls and grounds. Other paranormal activities are unexplained voices, spooky footsteps, reports of hearing your own name being called, ghosts of former patients, shadow figures, seen staring out of windows, feelings of being watched and not wanted, light anomalies, mysterious mists, feelings of being choked, and sounds of wheelchairs rolling through the hallways. Roche Percy Mines Rose Percy, Saskatchewan. Labor strikes and murders are just some of the events in the mine's colorful past. The mine is rumored by visitors to be haunted by native Canadian spirits known as Ruggaroos, who are supposed to be centuries old with the power to transform into animals. Tourists have reported seeing them become animals before their very eyes, and they have a reputation of being aggressive if they don't leave when they issue a warning growl. Seeing red eyes, and a feeling of being watched are also well known in this area. Number 8, Saskatchewan Hospital, North Battleford, Saskatchewan. Paranormal activities include strange sounds, mists, and lights are witnessed to be in the cemetery at night, as well as whispers from behind the headstones. One of the wings of the hospital had a terrible fire in 1930, and one patient passed away from her burns. She can be seen wandering the burnt out wing at night. In the tunnels under the facility, apparitions disappear once they pass a living person. Other paranormal activities are light anomalies, disembodied voices, screams, bangs, mysterious footsteps, and the feeling of being watched by spirits, especially from the windows. Number nine, Sori Valley Mental Health Hospital, Weyburn, Saskatchewan. It was reported that the spirits of former patients wander the halls of the defunct asylum. The asylum was demolished in 2009. Other paranormal activities are disembodied voices on the grounds and in the surrounding trees, spectral screams, mysterious bangs with other unexplained noises, light anomalies, feelings of being watched and of unease as well as shadow figures. Number 10, the Cinnaboyne Club, Regina, Saskatchewan. The spirit of a young woman rumored to have been a prostitute was murdered with an ax in the building. She was killed by a businessman, perhaps because she stole from him. It is said that her spirit roams the halls of this gentleman's clubhouse. There you have 10 strange tales from the province of Saskatchewan. The province has many strange tales and a very rich history. To see future videos, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching. Please like and comment below and share this video with your friends. Join me next time when I bring you more tales that are strangely Canadian.